Hello and uh, welcome back. Today I have a thermal imager and it is from uh, Inferay and it is the P2 Pro and it was sent to me by uh, Aleshop in uh, cooperation with uh, Inferay and uh, well I think it was about a year ago that uh, I did a review about uh, the Noyava it's the NF521 and I got a lot of questions can you see water pipes can you uh, find your pet in the dark and uh, well, all these questions I'm gonna try with both of them so with the Infuray the P2 Pro and with the Noyava and we're gonna see the difference and we should see a huge huge difference because this one it's an older one it's 32 by 32 pixels in uh, image mode and i think a refresh rate from about 9 hertz while the p2 pro it starts to be pretty pretty serious it has uh, 265 by 192 and that is one of the of the highest nowadays but what is special is the frame rate the frame rate is 25 hertz so it's almost like you're filming so it's super super fast also as an extra it has a macro lens which makes it the plus version so it's actually the p2 pro plus and the micro lens is great for pcb inspection and it is not a gun because you can clearly see it is in a very small box it is one for a smartphone and you just click it into the accessories they have two versions one for iPhone and one for Android and the Android is a USB-C connector so you can also connect it directly to the PC but I'm gonna test here with the iPhone version here it is in the box I like this more and more companies do this now they make a lot of work with their box of course they've been copying Apple that started with this to uh, yeah, just make the product look better by just making a very nice box well this is also very recognizable for the Apple people so what is in here a little bag to protect it this is a manual it looks Chinese this is the warranty certificate so it's English and Chinese and English well it's very simple go to the App Store install the P2 Pro app and that's it I like if the manual is that short because usually you don't read more than that oh it's very 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 small look at that oh wow Inferay I like how they spell that it says IR this uh, Inferay company or X Inferay you can find them on the internet they are specialized in night vision and this temperature stuff which is very closely related of course so it's professional it kind of has some weight it looks almost like it's metal or probably aluminium size wise so let's see but it's a little bit more than an inch and this one is a little bit less than an inch and the plug is kind of long so it will probably work also if you have a protection I always protect the phone this is my backup phone and well you can see it as silicon yeah it still fits and then we also have the micro lens and the micro lens is cool to make it able to focus because it has an autofocus but for the PCB you, you need to focus very close by Okay, they have the same you pull and now it seems to have sort of a magnet okay so you probably just stick it on here yeah click it indeed is a magnet how oh, cool and then we can focus very very close by it doesn't fall off that works well with the magnet 
Okay, let's uh, install the app. Uh, if you start browsing for it, you will find the P2 and the P2 Pro. And the biggest difference between those two is that one, the normal version, the normal P2 goes to 170 degrees as the highest temperature. So that will be completely useless if you want to see the temperature of your solder iron, which is probably above 350. And the P2 Pro actually goes to 550 Celsius. Okay, we installed the app. We can start it. And oh, it's asking for the accessory. So I just plug that in. This will take a while. It's initializing. This I'm doing this on an iPhone 7. It's my backup phone. But I tried it also on an uh, iPhone 12, I think. And the initializing more or less takes the same amount of uh, time. Well, you can see already that it is working, it's pointing my direction. And whoa, it is very detailed, I must say. What can we do? We can make a snapshot. We can do, I think this is also great for night fishing. Look at that temperature. This is, I think, the normal APA, black and white, cool. I'm thinking of doing more or less the same test if, that I did a year ago. Just putting the power supply. This is a, a resistor electronic load. And I'm just going to heat up the resistors. And then we can see how detailed it is. And we can compare it with uh, this one. So for this, of course, I will turn the sensor and uh, start the app. And I can put my screen recorder so we will have a better uh, view. Put again the different colors. I think the rainbow is perfect. And well, we can point at the device. Well, clearly it has a lot, lot more detail than a 32 by 32. And you don't actually need the picture in picture mode because you can see very, very well what you're pointing at because this resolution is so much higher. Uh, let me get my uh, OCXO distribution amplifier. Well, I have here one of my uh, 10 megahertz distribution amplifiers. And this is the option with the uh, oftenized uh, oscillator inside. So it would be pretty cool to see if it warms, if you can see that. And uh, maybe some of the SMD components will also heat at some point. And then we can see if the micro lens really works. Is it useful for PCB inspection? Amplifier here. And uh, well, the oven should be 
heating and we switch it on it's powered on it doesn't see on the input at 10 megahertz so it should start using its internal while we wait a little bit oh yeah it's already warming let me make a picture of that now let's get the other one mm, yes we can sort of see something what a huge difference is that I can also shoot the picture with this one or like this okay maybe on the bottom we can already see some things are also heating up hmm yes i can see see something is warm but that doesn't help me here we can clearly see what component or what area is getting warm amazing difference what will the macro lens do let's get the lens on top oh yeah look if we come close by these components are warm wow okay I would say perfect for PCB inspection look at that and how fast also the image is if I move it just goes and if we take out the macro then it doesn't focus that close by now it needs at least like 10 centimeters okay no doubt about <laughs> is 32 32 enough for PCB inspection no it is not is this uh, P2 Pro is it good for PCB inspection especially with the micro lines yes absolutely I never seen a uh, image uh, this clear on the on the screen and uh, when I did this review a year ago people asked me um, can I find my water pipes in the wall and with this one well I can show you another comparison again with my shower after I have showered so you can see that the whole pipe is still uh, hot and another question is um, can I use it for night vision if I uh, lose my pet in the garden can I search it well I tried that with my dog in the couch of course with this one and with the P2 Pro and have a look at the difference what a difference I'm really enthusiastic and I didn't try it yet but I think I want to try tonight also to see if it can be used for night vision because because of the high frame rate it is all very smooth and because of the higher resolution you can actually well see all the details 
there are two modes, and that is the non-professional mode and the professional mode. If you use the non-professional mode, you just see three temperatures, the one that you're pointing at, and then the highest and the lowest, and it will just move, of course, as you move the, the sensor. In professional mode, you can do lines, and then it put the temperature at the lowest and the highest and in the middle of the line. You can also put the square box, and then the min max are only within that box. And I could see that you can put at least three boxes. We saw that when I pointed at the resistors. Also, you can change the, the colors if you just feel better with another color. It may be good to know is that I used it on my backup phone. That's an iPhone 7. It's a little bit older, but I didn't see any difference using it on my uh, iPhone 12. So the performance is still great on an older phone. All the pictures or videos you make are stored in a uh, different gallery, its own. But you can easily select the photos or videos you want to move to your photo library by doing this. So thank you, uh, Infiray, thank you, Eilish Shop, and thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.